The Constitution requires that we take a census every 10 years to count every person living in the United States. Why is the census so important? One reason is apportionment, the process of calculating how many seats each state gets in the U.S. House of Representatives. But how does apportionment work? Since 1940, a formula known as the method of equal proportions has been used to determine how many seats in the House of Representatives each of the 50 states receives. The U.S. House of Representatives has 435 seats, and each state must get at least one seat. So after the first 50 seats are distributed, the formula is used to distribute the other 385 seats. The formula is used to calculate values that are based on each state's total population and the number of potential seats each state could receive. Then those values are ranked to determine how many additional seats each state will get. This process ensures that each congressional district from Alaska to Florida and California to Maine has roughly the same number of people to represent. Since the first census in 1790, the decennial count has been the basis for our representative form of government. Back then, each House member represented about 34,000 people. Today, each member represents more than 700,000 people. Every census is a new snapshot of our nation, and every person must be represented. And as our country continues to grow in size and diversity, the apportionment process ensures equal representation for all, no matter who you are or where you live. The census is more than just a population count. It's an essential element of our nation's democracy with the power to shape our future for years.